We are back now at 839 with Oscar winner Penelope Cruz. In the new movie Zoolander 2, she plays an Interpol special agent trying to find out why stars are dropping like flies. So naturally, she turns to retired male model Derek Zoolander for help. Take a look. Derek Zoolander? Yes. Valentina Valencia, Interpol, Global Fashion Division. Fashion police were clean, lady. Go harass somebody else. Besides, I'm out of fashion. I need to talk to you. It has to do with the death of Justin Bieber. His death is not my problem. I can use the database at Interpol to help you find your son. If you help me. Penelope Cruz, good morning. Good morning. Was that as much fun as it looks like? Wow, or even more. <laughs> it was incredible to be with all of them. And you know, Owen and, and Ben, they have uh, I have all the scenes with them and they know each other for so long. They've made like seven movies together and they never stop. They never stop improvising and I had to be like the serious one of the group and it was impossible. I heard you were a huge fan of the first movie. Yes. You I saw was. it? I saw it more than five times. I knew all the dialogue. So I was really happy to know they were doing the, they were going to do the sequel. Well, Ben Stiller says he wrote this part with one person in mind. He's, it had to be you. He yeah, saw you as, I, me. yeah, I mean, that's got to be exciting. I'm so excited because I've done more comedy in my country and in my own language, but not so much in America, only the work that I've done with Woody Allen and a little more. So I felt like he was giving me a great opportunity. Can you reenact the phone call when Ben called you and he said it's Zoolander? Yeah, I was actually buying diapers in a supermarket <laughs> in South Africa. <laughs> The phone rang and it was Ben and he gave me the news. First I was so excited that he was going to do the sequel because I had no idea. And then he told me he was writing with me in mind and I love the character because he, she seems like the normal one, like the uh, smart one of the group, but little by little you discover that she is a freak uh, like them. <laughs> so she, ha she has to have a little freak in her because she, she comes to find herself having feelings for Derek. What do you think she sees in Derek? Yeah, that's the thing. Like yeah. She has this deep connection with Derek Zoolander. And well, let's not say what happens <laughs> later, but they do have a big connection. Yes, yes, they do. The premiere was last night. Yeah. I have to show the video from it. It's awesome. You guys walk down the catwalk in character. You see it right there. There you are. Oh, there's Derek. Was that fun? It was fun, but I, I, it was delirious because I got off the plane from Europe. I didn't know where I was, and then I got there running, put on this outfit, and there I was with Derek, Mogatu, and Hansel, and 20 top models. So I think I, I said yes because I had the protection of my character and I was with the, with the boys. And it didn't matter if I fell in the floor, if I didn't do it right, it didn't matter. No, I had that protection, otherwise I wouldn't have said yes. I read something funny, you said that it was kind of cool to get to be all dressed up to the nines as Valentina because in a lot of the movies we've seen you in, your character's kind of been in crisis, down on yeah, her most luck. Of them. Yeah. yeah, most of them. And, and I don't care about that. I try to leave my ego at home and give the character whatever they need. The character will speak to you and tell you what's their accent, the way they walk, what are the right shoes, everything. But in this case, it's true that she had to look really cool. So, <laughs> so that's fun. Okay, a couple little items I heard. Tell me if this is really true. I read that you like to cut hair and you're really good at it. Yeah, because my mother is a hairdresser, so I grew up spending a couple of hours a day in a hair salon, which was also like, uh, you know, being a spy in a psychiatrist's office because <laughs> all the women were there sharing their deepest secrets, you know. Like being um, a bartender or something. Yeah, it was, it was the best acting school for me. I heard you were so lonely when you first moved to L.A. that you would go and get stray cats and, and bring yeah. them into your apartment, true? Uh, into other people's apartments. <laughs> I would get cats from dogs from everywhere and then give it to friends, even if they don't want one of them. And lastly, I don't even know how to feel about this. I think you said it, that you, even, despite what you look like, that you, you've said you have ugly feet. Is that no, true? No, no, I haven't said that. Oh, you have Okay, no, so no, that's no, no. not I'm, true. I'm okay. I'm okay with my feet. Okay, I, good. Because you were a dancer. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, when you're a ballet dancer, you, you lose your toenails. Yes. You get used to, you know, throwing them away. You don't even feel it anymore. Okay, That's good. That's what I, what I meant. I, I'm okay. With your feet are pretty. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't know if they're pretty. I think they're normal. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Penelope Cruz, thank you so much. What a pleasure. Thank, thank and you. And Zoolander 2 opens nationwide on... Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here.
to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.